Do we really need to use a car when it's like over there? <laughs> I guess we might as well entertain him. Whatever. Whatever, y'all. Illegal. Whoa. Sorry. Sorry. Illegal turn. But I'm a cop. And I can break shit if I want. It's the city's tax dollars, not mine. <laughs> it's total destruction, you know. Oh my god. Oh. There's a cop. Over here. Stop just a. Her face looks familiar. Well, that's June Ballard, Tarzan's sister, beast of the Amazon. She's married to Guy McAfee. The captain has moved to Vegas now, but the two of them still have juice. Phelps, traffic. Detective Phelps. Hey, Bukowski. Long time no see. You could have called this in by megaphone, Enrique. Phelps, this is Enrique Gonzalez. Enrique was a pretty decent middleweight. What do we have, Gonzalez? Broad drives right through the empty lot and off the side of the escarpment. Her story is that a movie producer doped her and her friend and sent the car over the cliff. Was anyone hurt? The driver's beat up. Not too bad considering if she hadn't hit that billboard, we'd be scraping both of them off the pavement. The passengers are Jessica Hamilton. She's just a kid. She's pretty knocked around. Kid gonna be all right? I think so. They've taken her to central receiving. If you wanna take a look around, stall the ambulance. Thanks, do that. One more thing. Watch out for the driver. She cuts rough. All right, so June Ballard. The She's the uh, driver. The corner, he's down by the crash and Jessica site. Hamilton, I guess her name is, isn't there either. I guess I'll go talk to her first. Mrs. McAfee, we would like Mr. to ask you a Mrs. few McAfee. questions, if that's okay. I prefer to use my maiden name, June Ballard. You might be familiar with some of my work. Can you tell us what happened here? You're kind of cute for a cop. Maybe a bit on the serious side. Getting hit on already? I'm a big fan of you? beasted. I don't like. Oh! Zing. So we got one question. B movie actress and driver of Crash Chevy. <laughs> B movie, that's funny. We understand that you're still suffering from the effects of the accident, Mrs. McAfee. The officer says that you claim that you were drugged. Who did this to you? That rat slipped us on Mickey Finn. It's no wonder I feel so dopey. I can't remember. She's looking directly at me. But she's... Obviously... I'm gonna doubt that. It's a serious offense to withhold information from the police during a criminal investigation, madam. I told you to call me June. You're making me feel like an old lady. And don't bother your handsome head about this. My husband will settle the score with Mark Bishop. Who's Mark Bishop? You mentioned a Mark Bishop. You think he might have had something to do with this? He is a movie producer. As for his involvement, you just leave it to me and my husband to worry about. I She seems pretty straightforward with that one. It's not going to play that way, Miss McAfee. We'll take it from there. <laughs> Relax, detective. You're not nearly as cute when you're mad. I was wrong too? What the fuck? That seemed right. Oh, she was this probably is a full big of shit. Scene, Phelps. We need to get our bearings. Fuck. All right. Let's go see the coroner. The coroner. Where's the coroner? He's over here. Oh no, he's down below. How do we get down there? Oh, there's a there's a road off to the side. How bad She's a tough cookie to crack that one. Second time, I thought she was telling the truth. She seemed motionless, but I guess you got to take into the into account what she's talking about. She pretty much told a cop that she was gonna kill this guy. 
So I guess I should have caught up on that. That's where this game's starting to get a little trickier. You'll want to see this, Phelps. There, laid out on the trunk. And that isn't even the best part. What is that? Un that's underwear or is that like granny panties? They've been torn off. Where did you find them? They were stuffed in the young lady's <laughs> Look. bag. I'll run a trace for semen when I get back to the lab. Yeah, you do that. Trace that semen. That's kind of gross. Check with the purse. There's a note. December 29th. Dear Jesse, please, please, dear, come home. If you're worried about your father, don't be. All is forgiven. He has a hot temper and he can be very proud, but you're still his little girl and he loves you. I know he didn't mean those things he said. You're a good, decent girl, dear, and you're not made for Hollywood. I was 15 once myself. I wanted to be just like Clara Bow and wear lovely dresses and kiss handsome men. But once I grew up, I married your father. I realized I would never have been happy in that life. You'll realize it one day too. I'm sure Aunt J Junie's looking after you, so that's her aunt. But I can't help worrying. You know what your old mother's like. The world is a very dangerous place for young girls, especially ones with s stars in their eyes. St stars are nice to look at, but sometimes they can blind you to what's right in front of your nose. Emma and Molly miss you awfully. Emma's getting so pretty now, and little Molly is bright as a button. Just like you were at her age. They need they need their big sister to look out for them. Dear, dear Jesse, please come back. I'm frightened for you. I can't help feeling something terrible is going to happen. I cry for you every night. Your loving mother, Camille Hamilton. So maybe the little girl got raped? I don't know. You got the plate over here. Not a whole lot from there. Mm. Anything about the car we can investigate? There's blood. Oh, someone must have hit their head. They're lucky they weren't more badly injured. Must have been unconscious. Being relaxed tends to lessen the soft tissue damage. So, passenger hit their head. But we covered her anyways. We, we recovered her. And then, in here, what's the driver's side like? That's the only thing. Alright. What do you think? This is a big scene, Phelps. We need to get our bearings. Let's go see the coroner. Uh, I don't really know too much, detective. Maybe ask the coroner. Drunk driver? Maybe not. How so? Well, a head I found without a body piqued my interest. See what you think. <laughs> Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him, Horatio. Ha <laughs> ha nice. Is it real? No. I think it's supposed to be a replica of an Indian truck and head. It's some kind of curio or movie prop. See the casting marks? What's it made from? Plaster of Paris would be my first guess, then painted. So we can rule out the murder angle? No, you can rule that in. That thing was wedging the accelerator to the floor. Whoever did it wanted these women dead. So it could be all just a big ploy. It might not even be a movie guy. We should speak to Ballard again. She might not be telling us the whole story. Yeah, I fucked up the first questions because I, well, I got the first one right, but the second one I messed up. So we'll see what kind of bullshit. She's, she's like high, man. It doesn't help asking someone who's pretty much high. But that's our only option at this point. Injured female passenger. What can you tell us about the passenger in your car? Jessica Hamilton. Poor Jessica. It's been a rough day for her. She's desperate to break into movies. What more can I say? God, she's full of shit, man. How old is Jessica, Mrs. Ballard? I couldn't say how old Jessica is. Old enough, sweetheart. As the saying goes. Fifteen isn't old enough. I got that wrong too, so she was lying. God damn it. I'm not 
observing this correctly. See, she's full of it. You can tell. She's a tough cookie to crack. Fake shrunken head. We found a shrunken head. It was used to tamper with your car. You see, I normally don't drive off cliffs. The last thing I remember is getting behind the wheel. That's pretty much a lie. Hundred percent of players, so we'll remove the answer. So I'm doubting then, because obviously it's not the truth. It's obviously some kind of movie prop. You must know where it came from. In case you hadn't noticed, I am the talent. And the talent doesn't deal with props or sets or any of that kind of stuff. Why don't you ask Mark Bishop which prop house he uses? Mrs. McCaffrey, I think it would be in everyone's best interest if you accompanied Patrolman Gonzalez back to the receiving hospital. I'm going to be okay. These guys can take me home after my lawyer and I have talked to the news house. Mrs. McCaffrey, you are still under the influence of narcotics. and You're likely to go into shock once the drugs wear off. And I thought you were a heel. It's nice of you to be concerned. I think we're good here. Let's we'll see what we can shake out of the kid. I probably should have been smacked for the amount of failures that I just did right there, but what are you gonna do? Gotta get to my very beat up car. Because I can't drive in this game. <laughs> I smack into things like every five seconds. Central receiving hospital. She was tough, man. She was tough to get a shit from. I don't know what you had to tell she was lying. She was doubting it. 11K Roger, en route. Left. No kidding. <coughs> well, that's cool, it's realistic. Whoops, sorry buddy. Take oh, it easy. Just, uh, write it off as a business expense. Ah! Oh, the hospital's like right next door. That's convenient.